Hey, what's up guys? Iceberg here, and today I have a 3D printed Leviathan Dreadnought. So here it is in all of its glory, and as I said, it is fully 3D printed. First minis of 2023, if the camera would focus. There we go, so here it is. And as per usual, all the names of the files will be in the description down below. So like, comment, and subscribe. All that jazz, and without any further ado, let's get right into it. So here it is, um, a bit different from your usual Leviathan. I did give it an uh, alternate head, like a hooded head, and a bit of a loincloth to make it more, well, dark angel-y, if that even is a word. A couple of decals, I did change my varnish recipe. It is 50-50 um, satin and matte now, so it is a little bit of a sheen, but it's overall matte. Uh, now, um, I think it's pretty nice and I will be sticking with it from now on. So yeah, a bit of a closer look. Green eyes, all the lights are just with a, um, what you call it, white uh, base coat. And then I just glaze them with clear yellow and clear greens. As you can see up top, it is the Frost Fact Launcher or 40k. In 40k, it would be Hunter Killers. A bit of a stripe running down the left side. A bit of breaking up the monotony of the black, Dark Angel Icon, Thunderbolt, and Eagle Head number 6 for the 6th Dreadnought. Um, from the side, it's just a bit of green and uh, tan bone to break up the black again and at the bottom as you can see is a dreadnought um, reaching out for his pathetic life and um, my force my army of dark angel is based on the Tramas crusade and my head cannon for this guy is that early on the crusade his force got squad got ambushed or whatever the heck happened with night lords um, they were killed uh, some of them were tortured and slowly killed by this guy squad and when this guy mortally wounded uh, got in case in a sarcophagus and come down and actually managed to track him down and find him um, took off his power pack and then slowly crushing him to death so yeah that's it for my little head cannon the arms right here are just terminator arms I scaled them up and then make them look well with a chain fist so they can be played as the what you call them Siege Claw, and uh, not Siege Claw, Siege Drill. So yeah, the gold is just um, a base coat of um, Brutefang Steel, no, Iron Breakers with Iron and Yellow over. I think it gave it a very pale, brassy color, looking pretty nice. So yeah, painting this guy in a day was mm, not too much of a rush, but I would mm, not do it in the holidays. But so yeah, um, all the everything is primed black. And then I sprayed the armor panel in black again. And after that, I just, just dry brush everything in all the mechanical parts in Iron Warriors and then Iron Breaker. Um, so that's pretty much it. The rest are just Mephiston and then Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet, Wash and Carnival Crimson, and that's it. So yeah, these fists are magnetized so they can be removed. And because of that, I do have a couple other arms. Here it is. A Graflux Bombard. Looking pretty nice. The green are a little bit too green for my liking. I would like a bit of a yellow hue to them as well. But right now, they just look like broccoli. Just stick them on. Pretty strong magnets. Those are 5 by one and a half millimeter magnets. Here is an actual Siege Claw. I put some Tamiya clear paint on that, the clear red, the X something, I don't really remember the name of it off the top of my head, but yeah, and that is because I actually forgot to clean up a bit of a, oh, the camera will focus, a bit of a super glue spill on the claw right there, so I guess, well, I just put on some blood and blend them in, as you can see, very strong, looking pretty nice, so, yeah, that's it for this guy. Oh, and I did match the polarity. I should grab my other Contemptor weapon. I did match the polarity with my Contemptor Dreadnought as well for the weapon arms, so that can be changed pretty freely. And yeah, 
that does hold on but yeah so a bit of a more compatibility throughout the force so yeah let's grab flux one board should put the other arm on so yeah looking pretty cool and yeah that's it for this video guys thank you all so much for watching um like comment subscribe again your thoughts down below and as per usual stay safe stay awesome have a nice day and goodbye